हेलो एवरीवन सो 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 आई आई इन इन अगेन लेट्स सी द मोमेंट शी जॉइंस एंड वी विल बिगिन विद अवर एपिसोड सिक्स ऑफ सीजन वन रिलेशनशिप्स एंड यू ऑफ सीरीज वन पर्सनल मास्टरी एंड एपिसोड सिक्स इज ऑल अबाउट relatives and you and i do understand that you all must be waiting for this because majority of our lifetime goes by when we talk about uh, this is what relatives will think of us this is what relatives keep on saying us when we do something and there are so many things that actually uh, we worry about right there are so many things that we actually worry about just because we are either scared or we are full of judgment assumption and it seems like it is actually right so we that what exactly we are going through are we actually uh, processing it in the right way or is it a distraction or a distortion of our mind people who have done neuro linguistic programming nlp they know what distortion is all about and people who have not done nlp distortion is all about distorting the facts so we need to ensure whether we are actually uh, whatever we are thinking about our relatives is actually the uh, truth about it or is it uh, or is it just our assumption hi sumit thank you for joining in hi yash so good to have you here thank you for joining in and i am going to isru if you are able to join in please do that Hello Atul thank you for joining in a very warm welcome Okay so uh, Isru are you able to log in the invitation has been sent already so very soon uh, she will be joining us so i was just telling you all about why this uh, see, uh season why this episode we have chosen because we covered friends and you last time and we knew that um, uh and i we knew that friends play a very important role in our life and because friends play a very important role in our life we have to take care of certain things we discussed about it in the last session and in case if you would like to know that what exactly we covered how to deal with some bully friends some aggressive friends and how to not be the bully to our friends as well we must actually uh you can go through the insta session that i have uploaded on instagram and relatives and you i have selected why because uh, again you know when we grow up uh, the influence that we have of our friends over us we also get influenced by our relatives sometimes we admire few of our relatives sometimes we feel insecure or jealous or uh, uh, insulted or humiliated by few of our relatives and that's the reason it is very important that in case if we want to live a harmonious life purposeful life fulfilling life we need to have that harmony within the relationships also because uh we cannot live alone we think that i don't need people we generally say this when we are fed up of relationship issues in our life but then we we cannot live alone that's the that's the major major idea around it and while i'm talking to you i'm also sending the invitation to our lovely uh colleague tonight isru so let's see so uh let's let's wait for a minute so that she joins in and allow me a minute while i check that
Hi Umesh, thank you for joining in. So good to have you here. So uh, Umesh, I was just talking to others as well right now that we are going to cover relatives and you tonight, and we have a very special person. Um, we have been associated from past couple of years, Isru, uh, and she is the founder and CEO of Eight Factor Coaching in Sri Lanka. So she'll be joining us in a while, and then we'll begin our agenda. In the meantime, if you have any uh queries and this is for all of you not only for you mesh hi hi umesh uh, so this is for all of one who is who are watching us right now if you have any questions any situations that you would like to bring to my notice so that we can cover it tonight we can get to some solution around it tonight please feel free to write it in the comment box so that i can learn about it what exactly you are uh, trying me to cover and i will do that right here now in this session itself and hi uh, abhinav thank you for joining okay so uh, while isru is joining in uh, i i have a question or i have a thought in my head that i would like to share with all of you and that is uh, what exactly is your opinion about the relatives in your life what are what is your thinking around it would you like to share it with me you can share it by writing it in the comment box so interesting you can mention it in the comment box and you can let me know that uh, it, what are your views around the relatives the relationships with your relatives uh in your life uh, are, are all the relatives same or are they of different nature obviously you know we are different people with different kind of behaviors and natures but then what is your overall uh, opinion about it if you would like to let let me know about it i would be glad to discuss on it further so what basically happens with with the relationships uh, जनरली जनरली हम यही सुनते हैं और बोल भी देते हैं कई बार कि जनरली रिलेटिव का फ्रेंड्स के साथ बहुत ज्यादा कंपेरिजन रहता है इन अवर लाइफ टाइम सो वट वी जनरली से रिलेटिव वी कैन नॉट चूज अवर रिलेटिव ये तो भगवान ही देता है ये बने बनाए होते हैं रिलेटिव आर रेडी मेड वी कैन नॉट चूज वेदर आई वॉन्ट दिस रिलेटिव और नॉट बट ये फ्रेंड्स आर दी वांस जिनको हम खुद सिलेक्ट करते हैं एंड दैट इज द रीजन वी एक्चुअली is we we actually consider our friends uh, more important than our relatives but agar aap logo ne friends and you wala episode ya session last time dekha hai to aap samajh gaye honge that friends कभी अपना एक दायरा है और उनको वहीं पे रखना होता है आई एम नॉट से उनको बिट्रे करना है या फिर उनके साथ आपको अच्छे से बिहेव नहीं करना है uh, या आपको उनके साथ फेक रहना है नो दैट्स नॉट द केस द काइंड ऑफ पीपल वी आर ट्राइंग टू बिकम वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू बिकम फेक टू वर्ड्स एनी वन बट येस हैविंग सेट दिस वी आर गोइंग टू बिकम सिंसियर विद एवरी वन इन इन देअर क्वेस्ट ऑफ लाइफ so hi isro uh, yes i have accepted your request and i am so very much waiting for you to come with me so that we can begin our session much awaited session i know that what everyone who is looking out here for us is going to achieve today when we both are together and discussing about certain issues that we are facing <coughs> so coming back to what i was mentioning ki hum generally relatives ko uh, friends se niche rakhte hain aur friends ko relatives se upar rakhte hain kyun kyunki friends to hum khud chunte hain aur relatives hame bane banaye milte hain ab hame nahi pata ki ye relative acha par ab wo relative hai to relative hai this is is generally what we think but the point is that uh, as i was mentioning earlier ki agar aapne uh, friends and you ka episode dekha to you know that friends have their own limits friends do not friends it doesn't come with the tag of responsibility it's it's more of fun loving um it's more of um, having good time with each other it's very rare exceptions are all uh, are always there in everything but it's very rare that you know uh, there are friends who are taking responsibility of each other's lives ultimately it's the family which comes into picture when the responsibility comes in the scene so having said this 
आज वही मिथ्स को हमने ब्रेक करना है नॉट सेइंग कि रिलेटिव्स अच्छे ही होते हैं नॉट सेइंग दैट रिलेटिव्स बुरे होते हैं उनको इग्नोर करो उनको इग्नोर करना और उनके साथ बहुत ज्यादा पैली हो जाने के बीच का भी एक रास्ता है जो बहुत डिग्निफाइड है एंड रिस्पेक्टफुल है हमें उसी रास्ते को जानना है बिकॉज आई स्ट्रांगली बिलीव की मैनी अ चाइल्स हमें वो रास्ता ही नहीं पता होता वी वी एक्चुअली डू नॉट नो दैट हाउ टू uh how to get into that particular way uh, or how to walk that path which actually takes us to the dignity of our relationship with our relatives that's the main point so i i think that there is some network problem which isuru might be facing but as and when it gets fixed we, uh, we she will catch up with me but i will proceed with what i wanted to cover tonight so with relatives and you you are the one who suffers when something happens between you and the relative right why do you suffer have you ever thought about it that why do you suffer actually you suffer because there are certain assumptions expectations that you generally have with your relative and uh, once you once you see that those expectations are not met then you know the suffering begins either it's the hatred or the hurt or the pain or whatsoever hi vikas so good to see you here very good evening and thank you for joining in so now because wo expectation pura nahi hua aur wo expectation kya hai if you uh, deep dive in this if you look down around it you will realize that expectation ye hai ki hamare relative hamare friends ki tarah behave kare this is what we generally expect majority of times yes i i agree ki 100% of times aisa nahi hota but majority of times it is like this so in this case first of all we need to ensure that relatives are not friends aur agar aapne friends and you wala session dekha hai aur nahi dekha hai to aap dekh sakte hain baad mein wo youtube ke channel pe bhi uploaded hai aur wo instagram pe bhi uploaded hai friends and you mein jo friends hain फ्रेंड्स का अपना एक लिमिट होता है वी कैन नॉट कंसिडर दैट एवरी रिलेशनशिप शुड ऑल्सो बी द फ्रेंड और ये आजकल बहुत ज्यादा ट्रेंड है हमको हर रिलेशनशिप में फ्रेंड ढूंढना होता है वी uh, से कि हमारा हस्बैंड भी फ्रेंड होना चाहिए लाइक वी शुड हैव अ फ्रेंडशिप विद अवर हस्बैंड मेरी वा, मेरी वाइफ मेरी फ्रेंड होनी चाहिए मेरी सिस्टर इन लॉ मेरी फ्रेंड की तरह बिहेव करनी चाहिए मेरे फादर इन लॉ मदर इन लॉ मदर फादर मॉम एंड डैड भी आजकल बोलते हैं कि वी आर फ्रेंड्स टू अवर चिल्ड्रेन आई से दैट यू कैन यू शुड not be friends with your children you should not be friends with your relatives why because relatives ka ek apna relationship hai wo relationship ek particular kind of behavior demand karta hai aur wo behavior aapko unko present karna hai and if agar aap unke sath as a friend friend hi rahenge तो फिर वो भी आपको फ्रेंड की तरह ट्रीट करेंगे जिसमें कोई रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी नहीं है जिसमें कुछ ही नहीं देखा जाता कि आपको अच्छा लग रहा है बुरा लग रहा है बस अगर फन फन करने का मूड है तो फन कर लिया अगर लेग पुलिंग का मूड है तो लेग पुलिंग कर लिया तो ऐसा हो सकता है सो द पॉइंट इज दैट रिलेशनशिप्स आर वेरी प्रेशियस हम जरूर कह देते हैं कि मुझे जरूरत नहीं है मुझे अपने रिलेटिव की जरूरत नहीं है पर हमें रहती है यू नो और जो रिलेटिव रिलेटिव्स हैं वो भी अटैच होते हैं हमसे देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट दे मे फील कि यू आर रूट टूवर्ड्स दैम और यू आर एरोगेन टूवर्ड्स दैम और देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट यू मे थिंक दैट दे आर इंसल्टिंग टूवर्ड्स यू दे आर ह्यूमिलिएटिंग टूवर्ड्स यू बट द पॉइंट इज कि देर मे बी सम एक्सपेक्टेशन गैप्स देर मे बी सम unrealistic assumptions that both of you parties are making but at the end of the day when you will actually be requiring someone to to, to work with you uh, or to be there with you your relatives will definitely come into picture in the short term you will definitely uh, say hey, कि मुझे मेरे फ्रेंड्स की जरूरत मुझे जरूरत थी तो मेरे किसी रिलेटिव ने मेरा साथ नहीं दिया मुझे मेरे फ्रेंड ने साथ दिया बिल्कुल दिया होगा बहुत अच्छी बात है पर अल्टीमेटली वो जो रिलेटिव्स हैं वो भी आपके साथ आएंगे देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी कि उस तरह से हम 
देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी कि हम जिस तरह से अपने फ्रेंड से सपोर्ट मांगते हैं हम उस तरह से सपोर्ट अपने रिलेटिव से मांगते नहीं क्योंकि शायद हमारे बीच में खींचा तानी चलता रहता है ये सिर्फ वो आई हैव एक्सेप्टेड दैट रिक्वेस्ट एंड आई आई so very much hope that you are able to join or you are able to see it i don't know why it's not happening but that's okay uh, if you can keep on trying i'm sure we will connect very soon so so now uh yes yeah, so they वट हैपन्स इज की आप अपने फ्रेंड्स की तरह फ्रेंड्स को जितने अपने पन से बोलते हैं आप बहुत बार खुद ही सोचेंगे कि मैं अपने रिलेटिव को ऐसे नहीं बोल सकता अब मैं बोल ही नहीं सकता वो इस तरीके का हमारा रिलेशनशिप ही नहीं है तो इस तरीके का हमारा रिलेशनशिप क्यों नहीं है शायद हमने बनाया ही नहीं शायद हम बना ही नहीं पाए शायद शायद बचपन से ही कुछ ऐसी चीजें हो गई जिसका हमने इंटरप्रिटेशन निकाल लिया अलग सा सो देर कैन बी एन नंबर नंबर ऑफ रीजन बिहाइंड इट बहुत बार ऐसा भी होता है कि जो हमारे परसेप्शन है हमारे रिलेटिव रिलेटिव को लेके वो हमारे पेरेंट्स की कॉन्वर्सेशन से भी हम अपना लेते हैं सो लेट से इफ योर पेरेंट्स आर कन्वर्सिंग अबाउट योर चाचा जी और योर ताया जी आपस में खुद में आपके साथ नहीं खुद के साथ और आपने वो ओवर हियर अगर कर लिया तो आपका जो एक अपनी समझ है उस समय पे छोटी बड़ी जैसी भी समझ है उसके अकॉर्डिंग वो परसेप्शन बना लेंगे अपने चाचा जी की अपने ताया जी की अपनी बुआ की अपनी अपने भाई की अपने बहन की सो so, उसकी वजह से भी बहुत इन्फ्लुएंस होते हैं हमारे बिहेवियर्स हमारे रिलेशनशिप्स के साथ हमारे रिलेटिव के साथ देर इज अग प्रॉब्लम जो हम सब फेस करते हैं I have seen many people who have come to me uh, for coaching and counseling जिनको अपने relatives के साथ बहुत ज्यादा traumatic issue है कि वो बहुत पोकिंग करते हैं वो बहुत ज्यादा interfere करते हैं I agree कि हो सकता है वो करते हैं पर वो करते इसलिए रहते हैं क्योंकि हम उनको properly answer नहीं दे पाते जैसे ही उनका question आता है तो वैसे ही हमारे mind में एक judgment वाला thought आ जाता है कि बस अभी शुरू हो गए हैं अब इनको मेरी सारी राम कहानी पता करनी है अब इन्होंने सबको फैला देनी है ये बात या फिर अब इन्होंने मेरे पीठ पीछे मुझ पे हंसना है सो देर आर सो मेनी थॉट्स दैट वी आर आल्सो थिंकिंग एंड ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर अगर आप स्पिरिचुअल टर्म्स में भी बात करते हैं या फिर अगर आप न्यूरो लिंग्विस्टिक प्रोग्रामिंग टर्म्स में बात करते हैं तो द वे यू विल थिंक ऑफ सम वन अदर पर्सन विल बिहेव लाइक दिस राइट सो इन दिस केस हमको अपनी थॉट्स के ऊपर सबसे पहले काम करना होगा राइट right? हमें अपनी थॉट्स uh, uh, को भी क्लीन करना होगा आई एम नॉट सेंग आप अपना बिहेवियर बदलिए आज हम वो चीजें डिस्कस करेंगे वेयर यू विल ओनली वर्क ऑन योर थॉट्स यू विल नॉट एक्चुअली गो टू योर रिलेटिव एंड से सॉरी टू देम आई एम नॉट आई विल नॉट से you or tell you to go to them and confess something to them no i am not going to discuss anything about it i am just going to uh, i am just going to, to help you think in that direction ki abhi jo situation hai us situation ke according whatever whatever comes to uh, to your life now with respect to those relatives You should be able to handle it. तो मेरा आज का काम सिर्फ इतना है कि आप इतने केपेबल जो है आप इतना ज्यादा अवेयर हो जाए अपनी केपेबिलिटी के कि आप वो सिचुएशन को हैंडल कर सकें सो so, उसके लिए वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज आई विल बी शेयरिंग टू टेक्निक्स विद यू द वेरी फर्स्ट टेक्निक इज वेयर सम वन कम्स टू यू एंड सम वन uh when someone comes to you and someone wants to uh ask you about any of your information so let's say wo aapke paas aate hai aur wo kehte hai ki acha beta tumhare marks kitne aaye acha beta tumhari salary kitni hai ye general ek question rehta hai jisme mere kaafi clients ne mujhe bola ki aise aake poochte hain ki tumhari salary kitni hai aise kaun poochta hai i agree aise kaun poochta hai par agar pooch liya hai aur aap को नहीं पता कि इस क्वेश्चन का आंसर कैसे करना है तो इसका जो इसका जो ब्लेम है वो रिलेटिव पे नहीं डाल सकते क्योंकि आप कितना रोके सो वी वुड ऑफ योर्स आस्क यू कि तुम्हारी सैलरी कितनी है तुम्हारी जॉब कहाँ लगी है प्रमोशन 
यही तो मजा है बिकॉज वेन दिस इट्स अ रियल लाइफ लर्निंग दैट हाउ यू नो हाउ टू प्रोसीड फर्दर दैन यू नो दैट्स ग्रेट एंड द मैन बिहाइंड the screen was very helpful sumit thank you so much <laughs> so ah uh, he is uh, always yeah yeah that calm demeanor really helps ma'am mm absolutely absolutely how are you my dear butterfly how are you great and i'm so happy to you know be speaking with you live and after a long time also and you're, you're looking great as always thank you so much absolutely i completely agree with your thoughts and i have similar thoughts as well it it feels so good to see you after such a long time thank you for joining in oh it's my pleasure i'm really excited and look forward to the conversation wonderful thank you isru so isru you know while you were uh, trying to reconnect hmm, mm-hmm. uh at that time i was just discussing with all the people who joined us that you know with relatives uh, generally this is the stigma that comes into picture is ki uh, i i have seen many people saying and and you know when i say i have seen many people i would also like to say that there once upon a time i also used to say this when i was young you know i was small yeah. i had a very small understanding also ki you know relatives are ready made uh, we cannot pick and choose yeah friends are the ones whom we select so they are more close to us yeah now yes while i do agree friends are very close to us i have some very beautiful friends of mine uh, you know we are like heart and soul uh, having said this there is another realization that i have got in these many years is that relatives hold a special place too mm. in our lives even if you know even if they are hard on us even if maybe they are not understanding yeah. us even if there are some harsh things that we perceive from them but mm-hmm. still you know no one can replace them this is what i have experienced in my life and this is also what i have experienced with many of my clients when we have ha- gone into some therapy sessions or when we have gone into the counseling and coaching sessions that there is so much of loneliness bitterness hatred comes into picture when when we don't act that the relations and yeah. when we want to ignore them so called you know ignore them i don't it doesn't matter so the statement it doesn't matter matter only comes when it matters yeah because when it actually doesn't matter we don't even bother to say that it doesn't matter because for us it doesn't exist actually yeah, yeah. so yeah i what I are your thoughts it. on this so i do it for that thought completely you know it's a it's a relationship and a connection um, just like the one we have with our parents and siblings that were born with us and probably you know we'll uh, go on till the moment that we die so this fact itself sometimes make us tend to take that for granted because you're just born with it you have not really earned it or you know you haven't really done the hard work to get it closer to you so it's very easy to criticize it at the same time you know you would appreciate it here and there but like you said um whether we like them or not whether we want them or not they are there for us and they always t- turn up in the most important events of our lives you mm-hmm. know no matter if it's an emergency or the most pleasure pleasurous event that we have those times you know we all gather and that really shows how how much of a strength that it can bring to anyone's lives and it's definitely a fortune isn't it to have a have a family and not to have one an extended true. family very true and you know i so i so so agree with what you have said that yeah, they are always there even when you know there is some emergency or urgency and even when there is something which is very good and auspicious happening in our life and uh, with this i would like to welcome gautam thank you for joining in gautam pleasure to have you here and coming back to what you have very powerfully and beautifully mentioned isru uh you know uh what i also realize is that uh, 
all those issues that we generally face in our relationships with our relatives uh, they begin with only one thing and which is uh, which is the concept of uh, respect yeah if they feel respected and you know now there are so many uh, parallel thoughts that are running in my head when i am saying this so i may be thinking out loud because i am very comfortable with you and you know when we talk we actually talk in on every tangent that keeps on emerging so what i'm trying to say is when i say if they feel respected they will be loving towards you at the same time there is a there is a process or there is a holistic way of respecting someone or there is a way in which you actually show your respect so what generally happens uh, in in the cultures whatever culture we get into whether it is western culture or eastern culture if we respect someone we actually you know we become we become like i can open book in front of them and then and you know whenever in any relationship if you become open book to them then they will also be able to pinpoint in your paragraphs in your stanzas and when they are able to point out those paragraphs of your lives which you have opened in front of them in that case that thing hurts us and then we think they don't like us or they are mean and then we try yeah. to shoo them away so what i feel is that we do not many a times we do not know how to give the respect and we give it in a way which which makes us feel which makes us become low on confidence and then the entire vicious circle starts you know processing this is what i feel yeah yeah i i agree with you ma'am and uh, the fact that that we are actually talking about this topic um including the 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 respect the, the, the what you just mentioned it makes me think that um uh, this this element will speak so much because it's a it's a kind of a relationship we have among all other relationships in our lives that has major influence in our life to the better or to the other side so you know if i may just ask from you how important of a role do you think ma'am uh, this factor of influence you know play in one's life mm -hmm. that's a very powerful question is ru and uh, and uh, before i answer it because it's a very serious question also um, before i answer this i would like to welcome rahul to uh, our session uh, rahul me and is ru we welcome you and thank you for joining in and coming back to your question and coming back to your question is ru uh, we are always influenced i feel you know yeah. uh, you know through um, the hypnotherapy session that i i have conducted uh, in in these many years i always tell them one thing that there are only two things which happen to us in our entire life either we are hypnotizing yeah. or we are getting hypnotized yeah. either of one ha huh? yeah. uh, so it, it it will never be like you know nothing is happening to me either i am getting influenced by someone or i am influencing someone so this influence influence always yeah. remains there yeah. uh it it requires a lot of awareness i feel is ru and i feel that you and me we both know about it because we have discussed about it lot many times in various of our uh, conversations that we had in sessions and otherwise also that it requires a lot of mindful awareness to actually understand that this is the influence which is working on me yeah because it gets so much attached with us, with us like if this is me so yeah. the influence will stick to me and i feel that this is me huh yeah. and uh, we generally say that uh, i don't get influenced by anyone i think and then i do things but then we do not even know about it that you know the influence is creating the entire world in front of us yeah. with respect to the relationships also yeah. maybe i'm influenced 
influenced with the discussions of my parents maybe i'm influenced with the uh, experiences of my husband with respect to some relationship maybe i am influenced with uh, some uh, gossips happening in my home or maybe i am influenced with the behavior the what i have perceived from some of my relatives but influence is always working like you know it's kind of a maya which is which yeah. is working on all of us kind of that doesn't leave you ever very true very true yeah so you know Oh, that that's true. You know, when you say influence, does it it always work in both ways? Um, yeah. There's a receiver and a and a giver both. You know, sometimes we are the receiver and sometimes we are also the influencer. Um, so in, in that context, ma'am, if if we get to that receiving end of influence, um, sometimes we tend to perceive this influence in a in a negative as a negative interference. from our um relatives you know beat about be about our behavior the decisions we make in our life our choices um and sometimes you know we we tend to think that the involvement not that we mm -hmm. think but we do tend to feel irritated sometimes or mm -hmm. you know that discomfort factor or sometimes we even curve our directions in a in a heavier way by just imagining what that potential influence a negative influence could be so uh, you know even after knowing them for a lifetime you know this this happens so why is it that difficult for us to accept them as they are very true it's true this is a very deep question while i think about it uh, because there is something that's coming to my mind what do you think about it because i do know that you have handled these things in many of your own uh, profession when you deal with uh, your colleagues in the corporate sector because there are also the relationship is yeah. there which yeah. they are facing issues with so what are your thoughts on it is true i think one example that i could just caught from my life uh, that comes instantly to my mind is that when i um stopped or took a pause from my corporate career and you know started to begin a career as a coach there were a lot of comments coming my way you know advices that uninvited so which were triggering certain kind of discomfort and I was trying to push it away but i felt now now that i you know um reconcile on that my expectations from them were very specific in my head oh i have drafted this graph in a way that i wanted this big thing in my life and i was really really wanting it so one way i did need support but there was some kind of support that i was you know pushing away from so this this battle between expectations from them and your desires mm -hmm. you know, that really create this friction sometimes because mm. uh you're not really ready at times to receive certain kind of information or feedback and yes that's i can, hmm an irritation or if they completely you know try to show you a different view um that will that will take you away from that you know big dream of yours then also i felt hmm. you know i have tend to kind of create yeah. you know experience i i understand i completely understand and relate to it is true because somehow your story was my story uh, 10 years ago so uh, i i completely agree with what you are saying and the kind of feeling that we can feel here what i would like to uh, what i would like to share based on my own little understanding that i have got in in these kind of things that come our way is that you know when we lack the now this this is a very debatable thing that i'm going yeah. to share but this is yeah. what i feel internally that whenever we lack that confidence and when i say confidence i don't want to say that the aggression not yeah. the aggression wala confidence but right. what i want to say is that when we lack that conviction and confidence and that assurance within us about ourselves only then the things yeah. matter when when our relatives say it uh, i uh, 
what you mentioned another similar thing happened with me also when i left my job and i wanted to start my own thing uh, i i used to do it from my home uh, even before covid also so there were some online assignments that i was handling so i remember that one of our neighbors uh, my car used to uh, be parked uh, on uh, in their uh, area parking area because uh, he 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 had all the feather or you can park it over here so i used to park my car over there and he was so kind is ru that he used to pay, uh, take care of those cars also that okay no one should come and stand there no one should do anything there because our cars are parked over there so one day you know it 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 was a week when my car was parked there otherwise i i used to go to my office and come back to office so he was able to see that my car was moving but uh, it was a week uh, i didn't get into the car because i was working from home i left the job and after a week there was a corporate assignment for which i had to go to that office so i got into my car so you know it was like this is where my car parks so this yeah. is the car where where it parks and this is the window of his house okay so one of the rooms so he stood up on that window and he says uh kya ho gaya hai aaj kal tumhari car nahi ja rahi kahin bahar gaye hue the kya हाँ सो हैव यू बीन आउट ऑफ स्टेशन की तुम्हारी कार हफ्ते से यही खड़ी है सो ऐसे नो अंकल फर्स्ट ऐसे नमस्ते अंकल नो अंकल बाहर नहीं गई हुई थी मेरा बिजनेस है अपना तो मैंने जॉब छोड़ दिया है तो इतने जॉब तो जाना नहीं होता बट देन मेरा घर से ही काम चलता है अभी आज मैं जा रही हूँ एक ऑफिस में वहां पे ट्रेनिंग है देने के लिए तो कौन सा बिजनेस शुरू किया ही आज दिस टू मी सो ऐसे की अंकल ट्रेनिंग्स का बिजनेस है so he kept quiet for a while and then he said ha chalo naukri dhoond lo business chalte nahi hai ha yeah. so you know and, and uh, it's true i would like to say that that i still remember that day very clearly in my head right in front of me mere ko bura hi nahi laga yeah uncle ne aisa bola ki business chalte nahi hai i could have taken it otherwise also ki ye to curse kar rahe hai yeah. right but then i said ki han ji uncle Uh, I smiled yeah. and said, "Han ji, uncle." And he again repeated the same thing. "Ha, so, beta, naukri doon lo. Aise nahi chalta. Bahut yeah. log hain jinhone wo usne bhi kiya tha. Kuch nahi hua uska." This is what he said. Yeah. So I again smiled. And when I say that I smiled, it doesn't mean that in my heart I was angry. Yeah. In my heart also I was smiling because mujhe farak hi nahi pad raha tha. Yeah. And I was not even feeling. कि अंकल ऐसे कैसे बोल सकते देर वॉज नो एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम हिम बिकॉज आई न्यू कि वो नहीं समझ सकते दिस इज माई स्टेप आई नो मुझे पता है मुझे क्या करना है मेहनत करनी होगी बट दिस डजेंट मीन कि चलेगा नहीं सो आई वॉज सो श्योर इन साइड मी आई वॉज सो अश्योर्ड दैट आई डिट फील बैड ऑफ वट ही सेट और बहुत ही अच्छे से यू नो आई वॉज एबल टू क्लोज दैट complete situation so this is what i feel that whenever our relatives say anything to us even if let's say they ask ki aapki salary kitni hai ye bahut poochte hain aapke relative aap kitna kama lete ho ye jo aap business kar rahe ho isse kitna kama lete ho ye jo aapki job lagi kitni salary lagi kya package hai and many a times you feel offended i have so many clients jo isi issue ke upar mere paas coaching ke liye aa rahe hain yeah, ha okay but then why to blame the relative wo to puchhenge na out of curiosity ya yeah, whatever he is a human being uh, why do we consider them as gods yeah wo human being hai aur wo human being ki tarah behave kar raha hai ha wo curious hai hame lagta hai wo jealous hai par wo curious bhi ho sakta hai yeah. right so now i need to know the way how to handle this question i will not expect it from him or her ki usko ye puchna hi nahi chahiye tha yeah okay i decide ki usko kya karna chahiye then it is like you know i still remember that coaching conversation is through where you asked me that do you feel that he is obligated to do as you want him to do oh i God, still remember that right? i still remember it too <laughs> but it's through your question your that question has changed my life i'm telling you right you. it's so i actually feel think of the same thing that who am i to uh, you know decide ki wo aisa soche aur wo aisa kare yeah. he is not obligated to be meri tarah wo kare i am not the prime minister even if i am the prime minister to tab bhi yeah. kyun mere liye karenge wo right so i need to 
uh, know the ways which do not uh, which do not shatter my dignity and which do not shatter the dignity of my relative also because the point it is the moment i do something which shatters the dignity of the other person this proves that i am a dignity less person yeah. i don't know how to handle things then i have failed in that situation and in any situation i don't want to fail i can fall down we can fall down but we we cannot afford to fail we have to win the situation and the only way to win the situation is the wise approach towards respecting yeah. someone this is yeah. what i feel yeah you know when you mention this wise approach um especially in that uncle's example you know i mean if you think about it um there was an uncle who is also a neighbor who was there to check on you for not having a, a physical movement for a week in a world where people die in their apartments and no one gets to know for months and months wow thank you for saying this so like you said you know it's the wiser way we uh, we choose to approach that that kind of a conversation and uh, you know did this um this level of uh, questions and comments happens throughout our life and through various events you know whether it's whether it's about what uh, scheme of education our children should be selecting what should be you know who should be their life partner what kind of a background they should be coming from you know even if you are going to go um, out of the city out of the country to pursue something else so wherever there's some moment we tend to get this and what you said made me feel, realize that if we feel irritated or you know some kind of dis- discomfort or that that kind of a negative interference if we are feeling it's the time that we can take a pause and think how much of clarity do we have about this decision that wow. we are making how much of peace do we have within and then that can really you know um help respond in in that wise way that you mentioned Wow. So, if you're feeling oh, wow. aggravated or if you're if you're getting upset, that means there could be something, one reason why you're not willing to hear that, or you know. Very true. Very true. I so agree with you. Like, and and while I agree with you, uh, Abhi has joined us. Hi, Abhi. Thank you for joining. We are happy to see you. So uh, while you have, and, and you are so right, and you know you have given such a loving perspective also to that uncle. Mm. you know mm-hmm. people are dying in their apartments and no. and you know we get to know about it because of the foul smell yeah you know the smell yeah. which is irritating us not out of concern for that person but this man he is concerned that what happened to her why is she not coming and you know getting into her car that's yeah. such a big thing that this means that you know he loved me so much as maybe as her daughter or as someone younger to him yeah. so yes you are right and you're absolutely right is true when you are saying this and i'm so so glad that you have you know shared this thing to all with all of us with all of us who who are listening and watching this and maybe who will be listening us after this also after it gets uploaded that if whatever my relative is saying to me if it is irritating me then what is that part within me which requires yeah the closure yeah. which requires that inner work so that i become self assured and without ignoring them without hating them without getting bitter about them and without uh, you know not looking at them and moving on from the away from them i can still handle that situation and have that respect for them intact within me yeah. so true is you know thank you for saying this oh no, i'm glad actually when we skip that step and straight away try to respond that's when you know things can completely go um in an unexpected way um when you skip that middle step very true yeah. very true i completely agree with you this step has to be taken care of and i would request everyone you know listening to us watching us here please write this down what isru has just powerfully mentioned that whenever 
someone's statement pinches us or it makes us hurt about whatever they have said before responding to them as isru has mentioned we must ask ourselves that what is it inside of me which is making me to feel irritated agitated or angry about this statement why and when you know why ask this from yourself and accordingly i am sure you will be able to handle that person and situation also hi kritika thank you for joining so good to have you here so i mean the, with with that uh, ma'am i'm also thinking how can this become a sustainable um culture within us i think what we just mentioned and agreed on is something that everyone including both of us would do but it it, it could be something that is inconsistent at times you know we we are very graceful in in accepting or or you know handling this kind of uh, responses and at times you just completely you know burst out in a different way so you know we could be perceived uh, a different kind of person yeah. as well you know who is not really um, having huh. some level of consistency so um what could be a sustainable way of thinking you know huh. that we can cultivate in in other words how can we create our own world that includes these relatives also and uh, you know radiate through this positive mm-hmm. and negative whatever this you know no matter relationship we have with them you know how can we really, really do it in a consistent and sustainable way because it, not even consistent you know, something sustainable so that 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 inner peace we are able to just keep uh-huh. on growing on it absolutely and that's a very again a very powerful question and this is a question which is very challenging as well and uh, and and thank you very much kritika for writing this for us uh, we also like the way you always keep on uh, showing the admiration towards me towards us it means a lot to and us of kritika yes absolutely thank you very much kritika for your love and keep on showering it on us we need it and uh, love from the moon and back to you also and coming back to what we were discussing is shuru uh, you know um, i read somewhere a few years ago that the pain is required for us to become a bigger person this is what i read somewhere at that time i was not able to process it uh, and Uh, I thought कि pain ही लेना है तो जिंदगी का क्या फायदा है kind of you know yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right uh, but then I feel that life has its own ways of yeah. teaching us or making us process and digest the truths of universe and uh, I actually realized this through in past couple of years कि in all those situations where I felt the pain where i felt that hurt where i felt that shattering of something within me after few weeks or maybe after few months i actually was able to get the uh, get to know the higher perspective behind whatever happened uh, in that situation which pained me a lot mm-hmm. and and it helped me to handle those situations mm-hmm. uh, without without getting heavy right in a very light hearted way i was able to i started to handle those situations right. and the moment i became prepared to handle those situations is through what i realized and it is a mystery to me also that those situations stopped happening as well altogether yeah so no yeah. such situation happens yeah. Yeah. uh but there are new situations for which life is preparing yeah. me again <laughs> right yeah. so life keeps on preparing us it's a wonderful teacher but then what i would like to say is that in any relationship let's take an example abhi uh let's say someone has someone is a very close relative to you and there is a function which is happening at their place and they have not invited you yeah. this is a very common yeah. Uh, yeah. you know reason jahan pe bahut aisa ho jata hai we get a part with the other is ki ha because they have not invited us so it's a very insulting thing also hmm. i do understand hmm. because i have felt that insult within me yeah. ki mujhe nahi bulaya uh, acha main unke samne jaungi ya baki relatives ke samne kabhi jaungi to what will they think 
कि यू नो उनका रिलेशनशिप होते हुए भी इसको नहीं पूछते हैं राइट सो ऑल दीज थॉट्स केम टू मी आल्सो बट देन आई विल से दैट गॉड वाज काइंड इनफ दैट दैट द गॉड गेव मी दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम कि ठीक है प्रबलीन you are feeling insulted now feel that insult remember what we do in mindfulness yeah. you know feel that emotion yeah. so i felt insulted but i chose to keep on feeling that insult within me because i wanted it ki jitna insult me feel kar rahi hu na usko hone do you know so no one is coming to me and saying probably you are bad probably you are this they are not doing it yeah they have just because of whatever reasons yes. they must be having their own yes. reasons they have not invited me let's say yeah. now i am feeling insulted the ye feeling main khud bana rahi hu kyunki main kuch expect kar rahi hu ki unhone nahi bulaya to mera insult i am relating it yeah. not inviting is equal to insulting me yeah. this is my equation which i have created yeah. and this equation giving me the pain and i have i felt that pain completely mm. i can feel you kritika if you have felt the same also and i feel i truly hope that whatever we are discussing right now it gives some perspective to you or you know you you make your own understanding out of it so after feeling that pain uh i was able to i was able to let it go also right yeah when i say let it go i didn't let go the relationship they are still very close to my heart they they also talk to me very nicely i also talk to them very nicely but then i have let go of that particular situation which says prableen was not invited yeah so it is out yeah now when this is out i i have made some um i i would like to say that like i we have to make some changes in the way we behave if i have not received the respect i feel this means that i may have not behaved in a respectful manner which is a dignified way of my behavior mm. i may have loosened down my dignity yeah. why behaving with them maybe i became too pally maybe i became too ha ha hee hee kind yeah. of a person yeah. you know maybe i became a very over sharing person with them maybe i wanted to be known as a very positive person in their life and i became all the gaga about it mm. so i made some changes in those behaviors and after making those changes then you know the things start to fall into place so there are five things that i have actually meant, uh, wrote down today right. the very first thing the very first thing is that uh, which i have mentioned right now ha huh? so it it surpasses all the five things this is the major crux of it that whatever pain we feel or insult we feel because of whatever the relatives have said to us feel that insult okay mm-hmm. like let it happen within you right and you are right kritika this is the reason we are taken for granted and now the five steps that i'm going to share with all of you is actually going to help us to not be taken for granted we are taken for granted because we take ourselves for granted so the five steps will actually help us to not take ourselves for granted because it's not the relatives mistake it's our mistake that we are not giving ourselves the due respect that we uh, we have to give to ourselves the very first thing is that do not share your stuff unnecessarily yes they are your relatives right yes they they are very close to you yes they are very loving towards you but this doesn't mean that you become an open book to them so you do not have to share your stuff with them this happened that happened in school this has happened my papers are starting from this date i have studied this much oh i like this guy oh i like this girl oh you know what i am going to marry this guy i am going to marry this girl you know what i have got a job here and this much salary i will be getting i am going to shop a uh, shop this i am going to do the shopping for this nothing you know we do not have to share it when it is not required and if we keep on sharing it when it is not required only then the questions will come tumhari salary kitni hai beta hai na acha aap kaun se naye kapde khareede hain why kyunki ye maine pehle aisa behave kiya hai to abhi ye nahi ho ye it's not late we can start showing respect to ourselves by doing this that do not share 
stuff unnecessary uh, mm -hmm. with anyone huh uh, yes you are right pratika we we should not be sharing because it can be used against us and thank you uh, jessy for joining in so good to see you the second step i would like to share with all of you and you is through is that we have to remain respectful in all our conversations with our relatives whatever whatever conversation we are having we have to be respectful we do not have to make faces making faces is also a disrespect yeah. we do not have to you know like they are talking something and we just get up and get going this is also a disrespect so have that gut have that courage to sit in front of them and talk with them respectfully and remember when i use this word courage it doesn't mean to thrash them because thrashing is not courageous thrashing is very easy it's very easy for me to scold you right now yeah and it's very easy for you to tell me ki ma'am what is this ah i don't like you it's very easy yeah but very easy. the difficult part is that i am making your life hell and you are still you know talking to me in a respectful manner that's the courage so many टाइम्स में करेज का उल्टा मत लड़ाई को करेजियस मानते हैं बट लड़ाई करेजियस नहीं है रिलेशनशिप को मेंटेन करके रखना विदाउट लूजिंग योर डिग्निटी इज करेजियस दैट्स द मेन थिंग सो रिमेन रिस्पेक्टफुल इन एनी ऑफ योर कॉन्वर्सेशंस विद देम हाय दल जी थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग इन थर्ड वन इज मोर मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट इट्स अ माइंडसेट गेम दिस एक्चुअली चेंज द एंटायर प्रोग्रामिंग अबाउट योर रिलेटिव्स चेरिश दीस रिलेशनशिप्स वी हैव टू cherish them yes we feel that they use things against us but we have given them that chance yeah agar hum unko chance nahi denge to wo hamare against use nahi kar sakte and we have to cherish cherish those relationships imagine those people who are orphan hmm. unka koi hai hi nahi yeah. right that's true right they long for this chacha ji mama ji tai ji Uh, uh, sister in law mother in law father in law they long for these relationships they need that family but they don't have it by god's grace we have it mm. and we must cherish it i am telling you we are every human being who is living on this earth or maybe who have left this earth every person their vibrations their living life is required for us to become what we want to become we cannot be what we are today uh, without them and i don't mean that okay go and uh, fell down to their feet and then say sorry 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 or thank you thank you thank you i'm not saying this that do this but i'm just saying that feel that delight of having a relative bahut logon ko nahi hote hain Actually, that that you mentioned about cherishing yeah. relations, uh, your your relatives and the relationship with them, um, it also connects me back to something that you have taught us in the class. You know, especially in this highest level of listening, in empathic listening, we connect to their intentions, yeah. and even even um, otherwise, give that benefit of the doubt to them, so that. you can still maintain your grace and you know you can give thousand reasons why they could have done it that yeah, way so when, when when i started practicing it after after learning it from you that you know i i started neutralizing myself this is just another another way probably you know um to add to pritika's point as well um this could be another way where we neutralize ourselves and we give all the due importance to them with they are the ones who conducting or hosting an event so they could be having thousand other reasons why they want to you know handle it in a certain way invite in a certain way there could be financial difficulties or there could be um, you know parts where they feel ashamed to um, you know if they if 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 they feel that we see it so it could be various reasons but they're giving that benefit of the doubt to them and mm -hmm. and thinking that okay you know they must be having this reason could be this could be yeah. that so you know we we completely neutralize ourselves and and we put all that importance in them and automatically you know you're landed with a bunch of different reasons to accept the situation and not be affected by it absolutely absolutely i completely agree with you and uh, yes kritika you're right we need to maintain a delightful distance and i know that delightful is the bold thing to be noticed here yeah. that distance doesn't matter but that delight 
in that relationship matters a lot you are right very right and then you know uh, the fourth thing a uh, fourth step uh, which actually is the loop with the first step okay the fourth step says that uh, which you have mentioned you know it's through it's actually i'm taking it in a point with that you have just mentioned okay. right now and you know i'm so <laughs> i i'm so much amazed that how our minds work you know in sync thank you just for doing always, this it's huh? always been like that i'm glad that it's still there <laughs> absolutely so the fourth point says what you have mentioned uh, is true is that always believe that they think of your well being right so i i repeat it and i want to kritika umesh jc and everyone who is listening to us please write this down that always believe that your relatives think of your well being and pay attention to the first step also do not share your step unnecessarily because what happens is when we believe that you know let, let's say if i believe that uh, isru thinks of my well being so the chances are i may start over sharing with you and the moment i will start over sharing with you that distance of that relationship might get affected so always believe that your relatives think of your well being by not over sharing things do not do that Thank you very much, Kritika. We are also enjoying so much that you are with us. You all are with us. Thank you very much for writing this. And the fifth step, last but never the least, the fifth step says that value the relation in the relationship as it is. I repeat, the fifth step says that value the relation in the relationship as it is, which means that do not look out for a friend. in your relative this is what i mean what happens is you want a friend in your tai ji you want a friend in your mom you want a friend in your husband you want a friend in your sister in law you want a friend in your father in law you want a friend in your mother in law please don't look for a friend because friends friends are are good to have but they will not be able to take the responsibility of your life but relatives have that position and authority where they can feel responsible for you right so if it is your mom treat her like a mom give the uh, value as a mom to your mom if it is your husband value him as your husband not as your friend but yes you can be friendly with your husband that's fine you have to be but treat him like a husband okay if it is your wife don't Uh, compare it with your friend ki meri meri friends ko itni cool hai jo because she is not your friend she is your wife she is responsible for so many things once she has married you and same goes for the husband as well he becomes responsible for so many things once he gets married to you so in this case treat them as your husband or as your wife you can be friendly with them you have to be friendly with them but don't consider them as your friend because agar aap unhe friend maan loge na fir aap usko husband wali respect nahi de paoge agar aap friend maan loge to aap usko wife wala respect aur ek jo right hai wo nahi de paoge mushkil ho jayega conflict aayega right so don't do that and same goes for all your relationships as well so these are the five things that i would like all of you to note down i repeat The very first thing is do not share your stuff unnecessarily with with your relatives. Remain respectful uh, in all your conversations with your relatives. Cherish these relationships. These relatives are very precious to us. So treat them as if they are priceless, right? So cherish them. Always believe that they think of your well-being. Always believe that your relatives. uh think of your well being and when i'm saying this you know you do not have to overshare things with them and fifth is value the relation in that relationship as it is right so this is what i would like to share with all of you due to some network issue isru had to drop off but then uh i feel and i strongly believe that whatever five points i have shared whatever insights isru has shared with us this will make a huge impact and give some understanding around what exactly we were discussing and this will also help us to live our uh what you can say 
to li live those relationships in a more harmonious way and i i hear you kritika i hear you when you say that uh, we cannot mix two different relations at some point she or he can be your friend at some time but not every time so you are right we do not have to mix the relationships kritika and everyone don't try to make friends with your relationships don't try to make friends with your relatives what i want to say be friendly with them but don't try to make friends with them friends come with least responsibility but relatives they it it is the higher responsibility kind of relationship in our life always remember that hi it's ru thank you for coming back and hi pace maker thank you for joining in thank you so much that you liked it So yes, it's true. This is what you know. The five points that I, that we wanted to share today, and uh, and and you know, the the insights that you have shared. I was just mentioning it with all of the audiences that the insights that you have shared they are very powerful. And I hope that whatever you have shared, what I have I been able to share, it actually helps someone, or maybe all of them. to live a very harmonious life with their relationships with their relatives that's true uh, you know um, to if if we sum up everything that 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 you also mentioned ma'am uh, we are not orphans you know we are blessed to have families and extended families and um, family as big as it can get it, it becomes power it's it's power if you really harness it um so one thing i think we also can um always be mindful about is that how can relatives become that power of another relative you know how can we become that power and the strength to our relatives and our extended family members as well love you for saying this love you very true very true it's true very true and thank you kritika Thank you from me and Isru will thank you from her side thank for this big heart. Thank you Thank you so much for actively engaging with us and it was really nice um hearing all your thoughts throughout. Yes, very true. So with this on uh, the next week when we meet uh, we will be covering a very important relationship of our life in the episode 7 which is spouse and you. and uh, this this particular uh, relationship is somehow very close to my heart i think you know is true because <laughs> in <laughs> because in all of my sessions i guess i keep on taking examples from spouse and you yeah. your spouse is my spouse and you is me <laughs> this is one session i might not need to join because i know all so many examples by now after four programs that i've <laughs> joined with you so unless there are new scenarios you know which i might want to hear up <laughs> yep. we need i know but you know kritika uh, kritika and everyone who has joined us we would love to have this rule right again <laughs> right whether she knows it or not uh, we don't care we want to it's a rule it's a rule it's a mean by pressure <laughs> i never get enough of it <laughs> yeah and she or kritika uh, i will definitely post the status on the linkedin and instagram as well so in case if you have not followed the personal mastery please do that on instagram and on linkedin also the personal mastery page uh, it is updated there uh, having said this uh, we uh, i we uh, conduct this live session every saturday 9 pm india time it's a one hour session generally and we keep on discussing on various relationships at this point of time we are discussing the relationships a different different relationships and how to deal with them so that we live a purposeful and fulfilling life so i feel that we will meet again next saturday at 9 pm where we will cover spouse and you and the issues that we generally face with the husband or the wife and how to cater to them and how to make it a very loving relationship we will be discussing about it and uh, hi deep thank you for joining in while we are just closing the session but it means a lot that you have taken out some time to grace this session so is you what uh, any closing statement that you would like to share um i'm actually really proud about this series that have started ma'am you know it covers all aspects of relationships not just one or two and i i really wish you all the best and you know all the viewers all the best for this series and um it's inevitably going to be an a much needed and a much you know helpful conversation to continue with oh 
Yes, very true. It's true. I do hope the same. And this this was the one thought, you know, because of which I started this series, because uh, you know there has to be some pattern yeah. from one relationship to the other relationship, and this is how we have planned. So yes, uh, and we'll we'll do it. And there are so many other things that we will keep on doing it together based on the expertise that you have in your field, oh. Isru. Oh. I don't want. Uh, audiences to remain deprived of the expertise that you bring in yeah. so thank you no, very much you once again oh, lots of love to you and thank you kritika for your love and encouragement it means a lot to both of us and and to all of you uh, i would request all of you to in case if you have not joined our page uh, eight factor coaching is the page of isru you can please join her over there she, there you will keep on getting the updates on corporate life and how to handle corporate things this is her venture and she is she does it in sri lanka because she is from sri lanka and if you have not joined personal mastery page then please do join personal mastery page because over there you will get the uploaded uh, video of this session recording as well and you will also keep on getting some nuggets insights and updates on various things that we keep on doing for all of you so with this i feel is ru shall we call it a night kritika yes, is ru the everyone okay so let's call it a night once again thanks to you is ru and thanks to everyone who has taken out time and has have graced this session see you all next week 9 pm with spouse and you and till then and have a wonderful weekend and a resourceful week ahead hi gurinder thank you for joining while we are leaving calling it a night but i'm sure that you will be with us next week at 9 pm sharp at night 9 pm good night kritika good night isru good night everyone take care lots of love good night ma'am good night everyone good night. thank you very much sumit bye 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 bye